the, the work I'll talk about today um, is uh, centers around a technology that we call digital microfluidics. This is a movie showing a digital microfluidic device. You see some droplets. In this case, the droplets are blue and pink and yellow. That's not always the case. And in, in this case, the droplets spell U of T. That's not always the case. But what I want you to see is that the droplets have flexibility. They can move wherever they want uh, in the X and Y axes. And um, that's, a, that's a unique characteristic of this, this technology, um, uh, which I think makes it uh, uh, interesting and well-suited to a number of different applications. Um, one of the things digital microfluidics does is it allows you to use a generic device footprint. And, and my colleagues know that often in microfluidics, we're building very, very specialized devices. We're going to do mixing here and dispensing there and so on and so forth. With digital microfluidics, we have a generic device footprint and all of the functionality goes into the software level. So for example, this is a little movie at the top left. Uh, we're, we're showing our program series.